10 Outrageous Pets People Actually Own As the practice of adopting animals continues to grow in popularity, so do exotic pets. Traditional pets are great, but some people prefer something a little more unusual. And on that note, let us get into 10 outrageous pets people actually own. But before we begin, we would like to welcome you to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe, join our zoo community, like and click the bell icon. You'll be very interested to hear what we have to say, so make sure you stick around or you'll miss it. 10. Alligators an alligator as a pet? That thing will eat you alive. Well, not really. Deaths from alligator attacks are pretty rare. The reason is quite apparent. It is far easier to be taken by surprise and attacked by a wild camouflage alligator than one that is in a clear, small pool in captivity. Plus, alligators do not chase people. They may attack in defense if they feel threatened, but the majority of them do not see humans as prey. So, it should be erased from your mind that they will sneak into your house and eat your children. But as anyone would expect, owning an alligator is not likely to be a deadly endeavor just as long as you don't do anything monumentally stupid. 9. Chimpanzees Having a chimp for a pet might not be the most unusual thing you have heard of, as there's always an odd celebrity or two that's parading them on their shoulder. Although there is no doubt they're absolutely adorable, chimpanzees can be difficult pets. A chimpanzee's lifespan can be up to 50 years, which means you're signing up for a lifelong commitment of raising this wild animal. A male chimp can grow to be about 150 pounds and is at least twice as strong as an average human. Building a home for your new pet may be difficult as it'll need to be extremely durable. Chimps really do belong in the wild, but if you're properly trained and have experience around primates, you may be in luck. Owning a chimpanzee is illegal in most countries, but you may be able to obtain a license to own one in a few. 8. Wolf Dogs This is possibly the most beautiful entry on this list. I mean, just think about it. A wolf and a dog mixed together. It might surprise people that wolf dogs are actually more dangerous than wolves when owned as pets within our society. While fully wild animals often have a more reclusive attitude and are cautious of humans, some wolf dogs possess the independent nature of their wild counterpart along with the loss of fear of humans that is characteristic of domesticated dogs. Not all wolf dogs will have problematic behaviors, but the issue is we don't know which ones do. In addition to this, wolf dog owners are probably more likely to raise their pets in a less restrictive fashion than owners of big cats, which may account for the few incidences that wolf dogs have attacked people. As long as wolf dogs are owned by the proper owners who can give them a large, secure enclosure and time-consuming training that is mandatory in their care, attacks should remain uncommon. 7. Old World Monkeys all large monkeys have canines that can inflict serious injury. Even if they are removed, the remaining teeth are also injurious. And it doesn't help that monkeys can be prone to dangerous, spontaneous tantrums when they hit maturity that will surprise unsuspecting first-time monkey owners. Obviously, the physical severity of an injury received from a monkey will depend on its size, but I have singled out Old World monkeys here because they carry most of the non-human primate zoonotic diseases that are a health threat to humans. Diseases from monkeys have subsided dramatically after their import from the wild for the pet trade ceased. The idea that the safest monkeys are those which are captive bred, isolated from other monkeys in pet owning situations, is not quite true, which is why any serious disease potential in animals should be acknowledged. Old World monkeys inhabit Africa and Asia and include Columbus monkeys, makus, baboons, mandrels, and lingers. These animals are known for their high likeness of carrying herpes B virus, which can be transferred to humans with the 70 to 80% fatality rate. Old World monkeys are also highly susceptible to tuberculosis, and frequent testing for this disease is often conducted. 
All of these reasons displayed show just how ridiculous of an idea it would be to keep them as pets. 6. Crocodile Monitor Sometimes, extremely large and carnivorous reptiles are purchased by enthusiasts, and this is a major issue because these lizards are nothing like you could ever imagine. This massive monitor grows between 8 to 12 feet in captivity and requires large caging that the majority of private keepers can't or won't provide. Plus, you can often find large reptiles being inappropriately kept in smaller caging than recommended. Their temperament varies by individual, but bites are always possible with these animals and can result in finger amputations and deep tissue wounds due to their uniquely serrated teeth and strong jaws. Monitors also have saliva that is densely populated with bacteria that will cause severe infectious reactions such as inducing shock. Despite the fact that no one has been directly killed by a crocodile monitor and other large similar lizards, their bites can potentially be deadly if not treated. 5. Alpacas Alpacas have been domesticated for hundreds of years, and in Peru, where 90% of the world's populations of alpacas reside, they are not only profitable for families in the mountains, but are also much-loved domesticated pets. As they require little food other than grass and hay, alpacas are cheap to own, but they also help turn a profit. Many families use their alpaca for their fiber, which make wool that is similar to sheep's wool. The only difference is that it is flame resistant and hypoallergenic. Although alpaca don't live inside, they are just as cuddly and pet friendly as dogs. One Peruvian dog trainer even taught his pet alpaca, Pisco, how to surf. 4. Elephants Since when did people begin to keep elephants as pets is not known to me, but here we are. Elephants are gigantic animals and are powerful enough to harm people even if it is completely by accident. This is a great reason why they should only be dealt with by professionals. When they get spooked, it is only natural that they could harm or kill anyone within their vicinity. It should be noted that elephants have minds of their own, and there have been incidents where they have intentionally killed their trainers and owners. Elephants are not often kept privately outside of circus workers and other exhibitionists, but in the few incidents where they have been kept as private pets, as far as things go, it has been smooth sailing. 3. Wildcats By now, loads of us will have seen pictures of the wealthy posing with their tigers, lions, leopards, and much more. Out of all the wildcats, leopards are probably the most dangerous as they are non-sociable, do not adapt very well, and are incredibly powerful animals. You can see that wildcat handlers tend to gravitate towards lions and tigers because they respond better to training and human dominion. Poorly trained wildcats can harm or kill with simply playful antics. However, entering the territory of an animal that is not familiar with human interaction will probably result in an aggressive reaction. Most attacks by captive wildcats are from tigers, probably because tigers are numerous in captivity. 2. Venomous Snakes I have personally never understood people that keep snakes as pets, but oh well. Even a single bite from a front fang venomous snake can immediately send the victim to the hospital. Since these snakes are very obviously dangerous, they should only be handled by experienced handlers who have mentored with professionals or other longtime owners of such snakes. Even the least deadly venomous snakes can still cause serious painful reactions by a single bite, which will require medical attention. Unfortunately, many inexperienced people are able to obtain these animals as they are readily available. These snakes are only a risk to their handlers and people who live with them, and in case they escape, they would probably just join the wild population of venomous snakes, which is a very small risk. 1. Skunks Of all the most outrageous pets people own on this list, skunks might be one of the most unusual. However, as in most places, you are required to descent the skunk before you have it as a pet. It makes a bit more sense why people would be willing to keep them. 
Owning a skunk quite naturally means that you might have a bit of a problem with keeping it indoors. They have a tendency to dig into things, claw at wooden floors, and are notoriously hard to train. Skunks also have poor eyesight, so if they wander away, it is unlikely that they will come back home. For all intents and purposes, this is a wild animal pet that really has no business inside someone's home. You should be incredibly careful with how you raise it. Despite everything, skunks are cool and we totally see the appeal. And that concludes our list of the 10 outrageous pets people actually own. Let us know in the comment section below which one of these pets shocked you the most. Thank you for watching Life Hack Giraffe, and as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon, and we will see you next time.